Billy and Bob's Rounding Adventure Once upon a time, there was a sunny, beautiful town, and in that town, there was a blue house. And in that blue house lived a little boy named Billy. Also in that town was a red house, and in that red house lived a little boy named Bob. Billy and Bob were best friends. There was a long road between their two houses, and exactly halfway between their houses on that road was a tree. Billy and Bob were best friends, and they loved to play together. So one day, Billy said to his mom, Bye, Mom! I'm going to play soccer with my BFF, Bob! Billy left his house and started walking down the street. All of a sudden, he realized, Uh-oh! I gotta go! He had to go to the bathroom. It was an emergency. He could not hold it. He couldn't wait. He had to decide whether he should go back to his own house or keep going to Bob's house. He thought for a minute, hmm, I haven't passed the tree yet, which is halfway. The distance to my house is shorter than the distance to Bob's house. So Billy made the decision to go back to his own house and whew, he made it just in time. He didn't get to play with his friend Bob that day, but at least he didn't have an accident. The next day, Billy woke up and he decided to try again. So he said to his mom, Bye, Mom! I'm going to play soccer with my BFF, Bob! So Billy decided to leave his house, walk down the road just like he did yesterday. He was walking until he realized, Uh-oh! I gotta go! He was going to have to go to the bathroom again. He couldn't hold it. It was an emergency. He had to decide whether he should go back to his own house or on to Bob's house. So he thought, hmm, I passed the tree, which is halfway. The distance to Bob's house is shorter than the distance back to my house. I'm closer to Bob's house. So he decided to go on ahead to Bob's house. And whoo, he made it. He didn't have an accident, and he got to play soccer with his best friend, Bob, all day. What a great day. The next day, Billy woke up, and he decided that it was such a great day yesterday playing with his friend, Bob, that he wanted to do it again. So he woke up, and he said to his mom, Bye, Mom! I'm going to play soccer with my BFF, Bob! He walked down the street until, uh-oh! He had to go. You would think Billy would learn his lesson by now and start to go to the bathroom before he left the house, but he just hadn't figured that out yet. So he realized he had to go and he was exactly halfway at the tree. He thought to himself, hmm, I'm halfway between each house. It's the same distance back to my house as it is to Bob's house. He decided, hmm, since it's the same distance both ways, I'm going to keep going to Bob's house. I hope I make it. He knew it didn't matter which way he went. He was halfway, so we kept going to Bob's house. Whew! He made it. He was halfway, and going to Bob's house wasn't going to change the amount of time that it took to get to a house or the distance between a bathroom. So he kept going. He got to go to the bathroom, and he got to play with his best friend, Bob. Now, boys and girls, story can be used to help you when you're thinking about rounding a number on a number line. So let's talk about that. When Billy was standing right here, he was about at the number 128. We can think of his house as the number 100 and Bob's house as the number 200. If I'm trying to round 128 to the nearest 100, 100, or 200, I need to think about what's halfway. Well, halfway between 100 and 200 is the tree, 150. Since Billy hasn't reached halfway yet, he hasn't gotten to 150, he's going to go back or round down to 100 because he's not halfway. You're closer to 100 when you're at 128. When Billy was right here at the number line, we can think of him as being at about 172. He's still between the two multiples of 100, 100, and 200. But the tree, halfway, 150, is smaller than his number, 172. He is past halfway, so he is closer to 200. He's closer to Bob's house. So 
so you would round up to 200 because you're past halfway. You're closer to 200. When Billy is exactly at the tree, he's at 150. He is still between 100 and 200, but he is exactly halfway between those numbers. So when you're exactly halfway between two multiples, you round up to 200 because the same, it's the same distance between each house. So we round up. He wants to go play with his friend Bob, so when you're halfway, you round up and you get to Bob's house. All right, boys and girls, that is the end of our story. Thank you so much for listening.